Hi friends! Today I want to talk to you about a book that is a very strong contender for being the best fantasy of 2021. It's June, we have half a year to go, so it's possible something could displace this, but as of right now, this book that I read is my favorite fantasy that I've read this year. Um, so this is The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. <music> keep this pretty quick and spoiler free because this is a book that I think you really need to read and experience for yourself. But I had to make a video specifically about this book because I loved it. I have really enjoyed Tasha Suri's writing in the past. So when I heard that she was going to be writing The Jasmine Throne, I heard that it was going to have a sapphic romance. I heard that it was going to have lots of politics and morally great characters. And I was like, yes, sign me up, please. This exceeded my expectations. And I want to tell you why you too should read The Jasmine Throne. So this is definitely epic fantasy. It is inspired by the history, mythology, and epics of India, which is pretty cool. It's got a really interesting magic system. And I, I actually wonder, I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm curious whether there will end up being any sort of a sci-fi explanation for some of the magic system stuff. It's possible that there won't be, but I think if there was it would be very interesting. So we'll see what happens. I think this is going to be a trilogy. It's epic fantasy, it's multi-POV, and while we do have two primary characters that we're following, we get perspectives from quite a number of other characters as well, which adds a lot of richness and dimension to this. There are twists and turns, there's intrigue, there are rebels, there's morally gray characters and women who refuse to stay in the corners that they've been pushed into. I just adored this. I loved the world building, I loved the character development, the slow burn relationships that develop, the secrets and mysteries, the twists and the turns, and just the, the, the tensions of loyalties pulling somebody in different directions. I feel like Tasha Suri kind of masterfully handles that. So let me tell you about the two main characters because I have these beautiful art cards that were pre-order incentives. These are the two primary characters we're following, though again there are several others who get perspectives. First we have Malini. She is a princess who's been imprisoned by her brother because she refused to willingly allow herself to be burned to death on a pyre. He, for like weird extremist religious reasons, wanted her to do that and when she refused he imprisoned her in isolation in this old temple. And I'm going to tell you the book does get quite dark, it does get quite violent at times. There's a whole backstory to this temple where she's being imprisoned that is pretty bleak, where a bunch of magical children had been burned to death because of their magic. It's pretty awful, but she's basically in isolation. She has contact with only a handful of people, including Priya. Priya is her maidservant, but she also has a mysterious past. She is more than what she seems. We've got secrets that we're going to learn more about from her, and she is a really interesting character. And one thing that I really like about Priya as a character and as a love interest is she's not pretty. She's kind of plain, but she's really strong, and she's still somebody who's attractive despite not being traditionally pretty or traditionally uber feminine. And I just really appreciate that. I enjoy that I've been starting to see this coming out more in fantasy where we sometimes will get these heroines who don't have to be super pretty to be attractive and to be worthy of love. I appreciate that. You might notice that there's a difference as well in skin tone. Malini is from the ruling class and her people have basically colonized Priya's people, so there are rebel factions who don't all want to be under the political control of the Emperor, who is Malini's brother who wants her to die. I think that's all I want to say about this. I don't want to give too much away, but I just think the world building, the character development, the plotting are all just top notch. Definitely the best fantasy of anything I've read that's come out in 2021. I mean the best fantasy I've read this year, period. I thought this was so good and I really want people to read it. So if that sounds interesting to you, if it sounds up your alley, please do yourself a favor and go read The Jasmine Throne. It's great. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below, especially if you've read The Jasmine Throne. Did you love it as much as I said you would? 
it's great, right? Let me know in the comments any of your thoughts. And for question of the day, tell me what is your favorite fantasy that you've read in 2021? Tell me in the comments down below. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.